Hi folks, that's Uwe from eCloud speaking here. Today I want to show you um, a very quick technique how to create tentacles in C4D. For those of you who watched that tutorial recently, this is just an updated version of the same thing. Um, and we're going to build that squid-like thing here. So let's start from scratch. Create a new scene. Create a cone object. Make it 20 centimeters at the bottom radius. Give it 70 height segments. Uh, it's very necessary that you have a dense mesh to make it uh, bend properly later on. Select your cone object. Press C to make it editable. And we're going to need an object to apply our hair material to. And in my case, it's a platonic object. And with the object selected, you go to your simulation hair objects, add hair, like this. You go to guides, go to root, set it to polygon center, increase the count to 20, increase the segments to 16. You go to hairs, go to root, set it as to as guides. You go to generate, you go to Instance, set type to instance, and you're just going to drop your cone object into that slot here. And um, let's render it for now. You can still see the hair material is uh, shining through here. And if you don't want that, you just have to deselect render hairs. In my first version, I was just trick tricking around with, um, with the hair material, but um, there was a nice guy in the comments who, who told me, yeah, just deselect render hairs. Okay, that's a very, very, very easy way to improve that. Um, uh, okay, let's go ahead. Um, select your hair material, go to thickness, that's the root thickness to 20. So you have um, just, you know, uh, thicker, thicker roots of your hair. So you can go back to your guides, make that, make everything a little bit longer, let's say to 250. And as soon as you did that, you have something like this, some nice bending tentacles. And if you move around your hair, uh, you, sorry, your platonic object, your tentacles will follow. Right, nice. Um, you can deselect your cone object. We don't need to see that. Uh, just stop everything here. Yeah. You go to your hair. Uh, go to forces. Set hair to hair. Hair to surface. And you give a little bit of dynamics to your tentacles. Um, you can decrease the radius of your um, platonic object. Let's set it down to 30. Oops, like that. Yeah, let's so that's the result of that um, of that step, um, and you can, of course, you can add uh, other objects to your scene, like that little ball here. You can add um, like a hair collider tag to it, and and now you can have a little bit of interaction between your objects here. All right? Yeah. Well, there's an issue with uh, with the hair module that you have um, that you have a little bit of intersection here. And you can try to play around with um, your forces radius and with the forces strength to improve that result. But as far as I found out, there's no way with hair to avoid intersection at all. But anyway, it's a nice um, technique to create uh, tentacles in C4D. Very fast, very easy. And if you want to um, apply another material to your hair, you just have to make a new material. Just modify it in the way you think it's good. Let's make it red, for example. And just add it to your hair and just override the hair material. You have something like this. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Have fun with it. See you soon. Bye-bye.